Now for a check of your weather, CBS4 meteorologist Cindy Presler joins us now. Well, we had some dry days this week, but boy, that all came to a halt today with showers and thunderstorms developed along the sea breeze collisions. We have a very light flow aloft, so these sea breeze fronts have been able to collide just in the metro area and then those storms pushing off to the west. That's what we're going to see later on this evening. Most of them out of here, but we still have some concerns as we head into tomorrow. Sea breeze driven storms again tomorrow. They're slow movers, so they have a chance to drop a lot of rain and that in turn can cause some flooding. It's going to be hot and humid. Today's high, 91 degrees. We're looking at something similar again tomorrow, and this wet pattern is going to stay with us all the way into next week. So right now, most of the storms have moved into the interior areas. Hendry, Glades County, down into Collier County. We just have some light rain now remaining over Miami-Dade County, and most of that is in the western areas. So if you're going to be venturing that direction along I-75, you will still run into some showers yet this evening. But for the most part, we're going to say goodbye to it and put an end to it down into Monroe County, some heavier rain there too. Uh, areas that have not been um, seen, have not seen any rain yet this afternoon, that's the best chance to get them. A couple of storms here around West Palm Beach. These are trying to ride right along the coast. There is some lightning there, and these storms have the potential to produce frequent lightning, small hail. We had a hail report today. Half inch hail at Carroll City. That was about 3 o'clock this afternoon. 61 mile per hour gusts at North Perry, uh, Perry Airport, and that was a down downburst gusts there and there's some flash flooding in the plantation area even heard this there was some cars that were flood uh, were floating in the streets there because of that flash flooding that is all since dissipated now rainfall totals no surprise here sunrise almost two and a th three quarters of an inch Cooper City picked up over an inch Hollywood Hills inch and a quarter many locations over an inch and for the most part one to two inches there could be some spots that picked up three inches but these storms are now dissipating we're past the daytime heating today with that high of 91 degrees, so we should have nice conditions tonight if you're heading out the door. A few showers trying to redevelop along the coast tomorrow morning, but I think it's going to take about noon to 1 o'clock. That's where we're going to start to see more development again, and that's just due to that sea breeze front coming inland, colliding with the Gulf sea breeze, and then you get the lift with the storms. The storms that we have tomorrow are not expected to be severe, though, although today we did get some strong storms. Same situation, and most of the rain over the next three days is going to move westward out to the western areas because there's a little disturbance here that's going to keep that moisture around. It kind of dies out and then another low develops along the coast tomorrow. So that's going to keep that wet pattern in place across South Florida for the next few days. So the dry weather is gone. Temperatures tomorrow will top out in the upper 80s, but we don't have the humidity quite as high. So I don't see any triple digits out there. That certainly is good news. The temperatures will stay very very warm and it'll have showers and thunderstorms each and every day.